preparing uh, the spices for the um, brown lentils I'll be making and I just noticed how many pigeons there are outside. <laughs> Have a look. Hello everyone, I hope life's treating you well. Uh, today's recipe is a brown lentil recipe called Kali Dal. Um, it's one of my favourites, it takes a long time to cook uh, but there's not much actual work to be done which is good. But this is going to be ready this evening so I'm starting nice and early. Um, and uh, let me show you what ingredients I'll be using today. Firstly I've got uh, 500 grams of brown lentils. Um, these have been soaked overnight um, and I've also washed them as well um, and this will just hopefully speed up the cooking process a little bit more. The spices I'll be using today is um, two teaspoons of um, cumin seeds, one and a half teaspoon of salt, I've got two teaspoons of coriander powder, a half teaspoon of garam masala, one teaspoon of red chilli powder, half a teaspoon of turmeric, a generous amount of butter, I've got one tomato, about six um, cloves of garlic, a few green chilies, and um, this much ginger. I'll also be using one uh, brown onion, which I've cut um, in a sort of fine, uh, small cubes, and um, a generous amount of uh, coriander and um, this will be um, used so a good handful I would say of coriander. I'm just finally chopping the coriander because this will be one of the first ingredients to go in. dal um, on um, a high heat to let it boil um, but you can see there's a little bit of starch coming through even though I've washed this thoroughly so I'm going to do is just um, remove it um, just so that the water becomes clear and um, the flavour is a bit nicer. My dal has now come to the boil and I've taken out as much starch as I can and um, still a little bit but it should be fine and um, so it's now time to add the ingredients so um, all the coriander is going in and all the onion is going in And I've um, just grinded the garlic to make into a paste. All of this is now going in. And now for the spices, so chilli powder. the garam masala uh, the coriander 
powder because it's looking like a bit of a picture um, and the salt as well So I'm going to give that a little mix um, and this will now be on a low to medium heat and just simmer for um, a good few hours um, until the, the um, dal has cooked and you want them to go nice and soft but this is going to take um, a good three to four hours um, minimum and then any time after that I would say it just sort of enriches the flavour even more but hopefully um, after soaking the lentils for this long overnight um, I'm hoping it will be soft in about three or four hours so um, all you need to do is keep the water topped up stir every um, time you come into the kitchen um, and just keep uh, half an eye on it but it will literally just cook um, the water will reduce just keep filling it up until the dal goes nice and soft um, and then um, halfway through we'll be adding a bit of butter um, and then later on just finishing it off but that is um, that's all the hard work pretty much done. Um, so I'll get back to you when it's uh, cooked through a little bit more. I've just left uh, the dal cooking. Um, and I've just noticed how lovely it is outside. The sun is shining on my face <laughs> and uh, such a nice view. I'm very lucky. <laughs> but we'd share it with you. <laughs> you can enjoy the view with us. Dancing dolls. <laughs> they say that there was once a peasant who had a very cunning wife. Okay, that sounds familiar. <laughs> the peasant was not cunning, but at least he could tell the difference between wheat and barley. Oh, and he killed his wife and her lover. That's not a very nice ending. <laughs> We've just finished with our coffee and I've just come to check on the dal. Um, it's been simmering for probably just over an hour and a half and the water is still got a bit of reducing to do but it's um, it's been simmering like this with the bubbles for about an hour and a half. I'm just going to start crushing them a little bit um, just like this just to sort of make them a little bit thicker and speed up the cooking a little bit. They're already quite soft already. Um, I can see they're already definitely splitting. Um, so you can use, I'm using a ladle, but you can use any um, spoon with a big surface just to sort of press down on them, give them a little mix. Um, this is still gonna cook for at least another hour. Um, but I just show you what I do it halfway through. Um, so I'm going to add some butter now um, for the last hour or so um, just to make it a little creamy. If you're vegan you don't have to do this bit um, or you could use something like oil I suppose but um, for me it just makes it a lot more rich and um, creamy so I think this is really nice to add but um, it's totally up to you really. Just let that melt and simmer for a bit longer.
I'm just preparing the garnish while um, the last hour of cooking is uh, for the dal. Um, so I'm just preparing the ginger, which I'm going to chop into fine um, slices, um, along with uh, the tomato and green chilies as well. I'm really happy with the texture um, of these lentils. This has been cooking for about two and a half hours, so a little bit um, of less time than I thought, um, but it's probably because I soaked the lentils overnight. So the water's reduced and the water's become very, um, uh, if the colours come out, it's very thick, it's, not, it's um, looking really nice and smells nice. So um, now that I'm happy with this, I'm going to um, move on to the talka. Which I hope I've said right. <laughs> so the next stage now is to make the talka. Um, this is um, heating the oil, it just finishes the dal really nicely. So I'm just going to add some oil to the pan. This is going to heat up nicely. Um, that should be enough I think. And I'll show you what we do once this is nice and hot. The oil's nice and hot now, so I'm just going to add the tomatoes so that they soften a little bit. Be careful not to splash yourself with any hot oil. The tomatoes have literally just been softening for a minute. I'm going to add the chilies now. let them fry for a second and while that's doing I'm just going to take give this a little mix and take the spoon out because once the oil is hot I'm going to add this straight to the lentils and put the lid on and I want to make sure that I'm ready because this is hot oil so it can be a bit dangerous so these have been in for literally just 30 seconds it's now time to add the cumin seeds these will go in for literally about 10 seconds. Um, I don't want them to burn, so I'm going to take them off the heat very soon. I'm just going to keep them moving. The smell at this point is amazing. The cumin seeds just give a lovely smell, lovely aroma. Okay. So it's time to add. Gently does it. I'm just going to add the lid and let that sit. So the um, talka's finished um, and the lid has been on the entire time since you saw me put it on. Um, so this has just been on for about two or three minutes. So if I take it off, we'll get a little shot of what it looks like inside. Okay, so it smells lovely. I'm going to just garnish it now. So with um, the ginger, 
I'm just going to sprinkle that on top, which gives a really nice fresh um, sort of flavour and um, another dimension of texture. Just a little bit more. And no dish is not complete without coriander. So that's going in now. Now that's all that's left is to try. Now is the final bit, the best bit. It's time to try. So I'm just gonna scoop this out into a little bowl. Add a little fresh bit of garlic, um, ginger even, and some more coriander. So now that the dish is ready, I'm going to try um, the the dal. Um, today I'm just going to have this as it is on its own, just as a sort of a soup. Um, you can definitely have this with rice or bread, which I will do um, maybe tonight or tomorrow. Um, as I'm serving this on its own, I'm going to be using some lime. Um, you can use lemon, I just have this to hand. Um, and I'm just going to um, squeeze a little bit on. I think this just gives such a fresh um, flavour um, and I just, I just love having lime or lemon with soup um, so personally I think this goes really well, I recommend you try. Um, so let's have, let's have a bit. amazing and so comforting. I'm going to now indulge and eat this whole bowl myself. Um, this is absolutely lovely. I recommend you try it. Um, I hope you really enjoyed this video. I've enjoyed filming this um, and I hope that we see you again in our next video. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe.